Hi, and welcome back to another episode of The Breakdown with Bethany. I'm Bethany Ron Silva, and today my guests are Josh Peck and his wife, Paige. We're going to be talking about welcoming a new baby into the mix and transitioning to a family of four, the advice they got from Hillary Duff, and how Paige has navigated those nasty mom shamers. So check it out. I would love to hear about um, welcoming your new baby to the house. Like, how has the dynamic changed? What's different this time around? Because I know from personal experience, it's wild. Yeah, you have a similar age gap to us too, which I think helps for sure. Um, our older son is four and he's definitely like at a good age to be welcoming a sibling. There's not, there. we've been really lucky. There hasn't been many like issues or too much jealousy or anything like that it's been pretty great like I he likes hanging out with him more than he wants to hang out with me so yeah it's a win he's not really a threat to him yet although the other day he was on my son Max was on his tablet and shy the baby sort of put his hand on the tablet and I saw Max kind of (laughs) swatted away and I was like so it begins Absolutely. I think for me, my older son didn't even acknowledge the baby for the first six months. He just like refused to even like acknowledge his existence. But um, I'm also curious, did, Have your, has your parenting style sort of changed since welcoming Shy into the mix? I mean, certainly you're juggling a lot more now, you know, navigating like a newborn and a sort of some, a top on the cusp of toddler preschool age. I'm wondering, what have you had to like adapt to? Um, I think mostly like what you hear is just like the second kid you're just a lot more chill the second time around I think you've done it before so like you don't really sweat the small stuff as much and you're not as worried all the time about like the little things um yeah I mean it's definitely more hectic there's another human running around needing your attention all the time but it's been great we haven't you know we're really lucky that I haven't had too many too many moments where I'm just like this is, how how do people do this? Like, how do people have more kids than this? But um, yeah, we, we, it's been, it's been pretty good. I just think that it's taking everything moment to moment and, and not, yeah, not sweating those small things, like not freaking out about every little thing and like following being guidelines to a deal. I think with my first, I was like, no, he just, yeah, he just turned this age. He has to be doing this by now. Like, why isn't he doing it? And now we're like, all right, he'll get to it when he gets to it or he'll do, you know, things on his own time. So. And I think to your point, like having that perspective of knowing you've done it once before and it's just sort of, it just so happens to be like a good segue with the infamil of it all. Cause I think that's the idea behind our family beginnings is this idea of like, especially for first time parents, like a resource and something where, Because, you know, you want to be able to text someone or just know that whatever's happening in that moment is, you know, going to be okay. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And, you know, with Infamil, with their Family Beginnings app and just like access to a nurse 24-7 or resources, discounts, the whole thing. It's like just having that little bit of extra help is so nice to know that, you know, you're not alone in the journey because sometimes at two in the morning or two in the afternoon, you can sit with these kids and go, has anyone else ever done this in the history of the world? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And I actually, you know, I think I saw on Instagram, um, I think it was you, Josh, and you were talking about this partnership and how you guys are pro new parents. Like we, uh, we essentially, and I've been a parenting editor for over a decade. And as much as we try to inform parent, new parents, sometimes we are like scaring the crap out of them. So I love that there's like this resource and it doesn't have to be, it's overwhelming. It it, it can be scary, but it doesn't have to be this, like this, like this really terrifying thing. Right. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yes. It's funny. We have very good family friends who are like days away from giving birth to their first. And I, we were sitting at dinner the other day and I said to her husband, I'm going to give you the one piece of unsolicited advice I give all parents, which is it's just going to be great. And don't let all everyone freak you out about lack of sleep and whatnot. Like any inconvenience will be so overshadowed by how great it is. I love that. I so love that. And certainly you guys do have kind of a network of, you know, you know, other celeb parents. And I'm wondering, um, my sort of like the person that I welcomed my first child with, like my celeb buddy, although I don't know her um, in person, I think you probably don't have to say is Hillary Duff. I'm wondering, has she oh. you know, doled out any um, advice to you guys? 
Hillary is the best. She actually, when we, I was starting the second season of How I Met Your Father while Paige was about six months pregnant. And, you know, she has three kiddos. And she said, what would be really nice is when you bring the baby home, have Max give him a tour of the house. And so he really feels like he's introducing him into the world and the world that you've shared as a trio and now as sort of a foursome. And so I thought that was great. And she's just such like a mama, like sometimes I'll jokingly be like, you're done, right? And she'll kind of give me a look like, yeah. And who knows, but I just love the fact that she loves you're being a mom. <laughs> no, yeah. she, she's like one of those people, I don't know her personally, but on social media, I'm like, she just like makes it all look easy. And like, she has it all together and she can balance everything. I'm like, how do you do that? <laughs> like how? I'm sure it's crazy and hectic, but yeah. Her kids are so cute. She's probably just embracing everything that you guys were just talking about. Like, it's all great. It's all great. Like, you just kind of have to embrace all the craziness that comes along with kids. But um, I'm also wondering about this partnership. I know there's sort of a personal connection. And could you guys just tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I think it was a natural, like, partnership for us because my breastfeeding journey was not easy, especially the first time around. Um, You have in your head, you know, your plan and how you want things to go. And, you know, even your, my birth plan was thrown off. Like I had to very quickly learn that it might not work out exactly how I hope it will. And breastfeeding was my first option and my first choice. And I really like drove myself crazy at the beginning, trying to get it to work when it was, it just wasn't something that was happening for me. I just wasn't producing enough milk. So, um, we, it was like kind of a hard thing at first for me to let go of the idea of being like, okay, well now I have to go to formula. I haven't really researched this. I haven't done this before I was set on, on breastfeeding. Um, and we went to formula with our son, Max, and we were like, okay, it's all okay. Everything's okay. And then when I had shy, I was again, like, I'm not as scared about the idea of formula anymore. We know it. We, you know, had Enfamil in the hospital and he drank it right away. And it was like great for him. And it's been really great for us. And I also just think that, you know, that's another piece of advice that I would give to a new parent would just be like, I know that you have your ideas and you can try your hardest to, to have your plans work out the way they will. But like, if they don't, it's okay. And you can pivot and, it's nice to know that there's companies like Enfamo that have like a hundred years of experience. So you're, you're trusted in them and you know that your baby's going to be good. And we were both formula fed. So yeah, it, that it was, it was an, an adjustment at first, but then like the second time around, I just felt so comfortable and it's been great. I'm so relieved to hear that. As I mentioned, you know, I've been in this sort of parenting mom world for a long time. And we often hear of moms being shamed or criticized for their choices, even in the hospital by lactation consultants. Did you experience anything like that? Yeah, the first, I more so with our older son, I, I definitely experienced, you know, you had the lactation consultants coming in and being like, all right, we'll just keep trying. And I'm like, right, but what we're doing, like you're sitting here, you're watching me, it's not happening. I don't know why it, nothing's happening. You're like, it'll happen, it'll happen. So they were like, just give it time. And then once I gave it like three weeks and it still wasn't happening, I was like, all right, I gotta let go of the idea. But definitely had some some parents and some people, you know, when they saw that I was giving my baby formula, you know, make some comments unsolicited about it. And I was just like, you just have no idea what my story or my struggle is and why we're doing this. So, and And everyone's journey is different. Totally. And people have so many different struggles and stories and reasons for doing what they do. And I just, am like, he's my baby's eating, you know, (laughs) he's happy and he's healthy and he's fed. And so yeah, I, I did experience some of that. The second time around, I found less. Um, the pediatrician who came in to help us was like, are you breastfeeding? Are you formula feeding? And I said, we're formula feeding. And he was like, amazing. I formula fed three out of four of my kids and so happy. Like that's, he he was so kind and made me feel so good about, about that decision. And I feel like that helps, you know, cause you know, you're already putting so much pressure on yourself. You don't need other people to add to that. You need people to like support you and bring you up and make you feel good about those decisions. So, um, definitely felt better the second time around. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. I mean, any support we can offer new parents, especially new moms, I think it's important. And maybe it's just also like a sign of the times, you know, like we're talking more openly about this stuff. Brands like Enfamil are really like, you know, showing their support for, you know, moms and things like that. So I, I just really love to hear that on a personal note. It makes me super happy. But um, if we could just, you know, switch gears a little bit, I would love to know what, 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 besides, you know, managing the two kids, right? Like what upcoming projects are you guys working on? Anything we can look forward to seeing? um I yeah I uh the second part of the second season of How I Met Your Father is is coming out on Hulu and, and it's already started to air so that'll be you know coming out all through June and July and and great finale and and I think the the fans will be extremely happy um I have a small part in the movie Oppenheimer coming out in, in July which is very cool and such an honor to just even be a part of it and uh and my podcast, the Good Guys podcast, um, which is available everywhere, and hopefully Paige will come on as a special guest sooner Maybe. than later. We'll see. <laughs> I love that. Do you have any like podcast advice? I'm still feel like I'm getting this one off the ground too. You're great. I mean, you're such a natural. I I would say, you know, good clips help, right? Because those are the things that you can share, and those are the things that have a good chance of going viral and and exposing you to a new audience. I love that. Okay, we can wrap it up. I would just love to know any su fun summer family plans if you're traveling, if you're staying at home. What does the summer hold for you guys? We've actually been taught, we were just talking about maybe trying to go camping. Josh is not a big camper, but I mean, I haven't really been camping much, but I'm, I don't know, with boys, I'm like, it'd be fun to go camping. So we might try that. Who knows? I'm going to really embarrass you and I'm going to get a camelback. And I'm going to get really high socks and boots. Great. I'm going to be the camping dad. Amazing. That's, <laughs> I, that's. I feel like that's really ambitious of you guys with like a, a, a under one-year-old and a four-year-old. You know, where are we going to plug in his sound machine? It'll never happen. It'll never happen. <laughs> We're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we like to talk about, we have, we don't really have many plans. We've, we've been chatting. Paige has this amazing big family who we're so close with and, and we're so lucky to have them. But when it comes to like figuring out vacations and stuff, I said to Paige the other day, I'm like, we need to figure it out and then invite them. Yeah. I said, because if this becomes the family vacation think tank, we're never going to decide on a place. <laughs> You'll never leave. You'll never get anywhere. I know that I said that was my last question, but if I could just ask one more quick one about just what um uh, we, what products. I'm always trying to like tell uh, my kids are 7-Eleven and actually my friends are having babies right now. My best friend of 30 years just had twin boys. And like, so what are you guys relying on to get you through all these, like these first months product wise? Oh gosh, that's a big question. Um, I, there's so many amazing things. And I feel like even the change from like four years ago with Max to now, there's already so many other products and things. And people are like, have you tried this? We did use this new, we were lucky enough to borrow one from a friend of ours, um, which was great for when he was really young. It really helped. Like it, again, all these products, like what works for one kid totally might not work for the other. So, um, like Max would have never liked anything like that. I know for a fact he was like wanted to be in his crib only. So but Shy loved it. So that I mean a good sound machine. I'm a big uh, it's a wonderful $20 investment, a white warmer, like and all this bougie stuff. I'm like usually not a fan, but when you see the reaction of a warm wipe on your, your kid's face, like they're just like, thank you. I really just appreciate. Who doesn't love a hot towel? You know what I mean? You know, you make a lot of sense there. I never invested in one, but I think, you know, it's a worthy, you know, recommendation. So thank you both so, so much. I really appreciate the time and best of luck on your uh, new journey as a family of four. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck to you too and your boys. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Take care. Mm -hmm.